Hello and welcome back to my Ski Challenge history videos. As you see, we are in a different game than the Ski Challenge itself this time. Um, this is more or less an, uh, a pre-release to the uh, Ski Challenge 2010, done on pretty much the same uh, engine. Uh, it's called, as you see, Giant Slalom Online. And that's exactly what it is, a giant slalom. You obviously can custom make your guy again. And you've got the same uh, weather as usual. You just don't have an option to change the setting of your skis. And this is quite hard to do actually because a giant slalom and I'm getting sick by watching that go away. Um, I don't know if I'd actually disable the ghost, but no, no, I didn't. Now you see the ghost of my last run. That, yeah, yeah, exactly what happens when I'm now. Uh, get that away. I don't want to see it. It's this. It's really uh, just just for nothing. You you'll need. It's just a distraction. I mean, for being an engine actually used for downhill events, that's actually working quite good for the giant slalom but it's not really the best thing I've ever seen <coughs> I've seen better engines for giant slaloms that's probably probably the uh, reason this is the only uh, giant slalom ever used in the ski challenge uh, history There were no others. It was just this one. <clears throat> and actually, I'm not willing to play uh, any more of this. I'll see you in the Ski Challenge 2010 game in 3, 2, 1. And there we are, after the warm-up to the Ski Challenge 2010, there came the Ski Challenge 2010. Uh, and actually you couldn't uh, customize your skiers here either. And there was a first time uh, thing here, Beaver Creek. American track which we'll just do right now uh, where did I put what the fuck six that's not why is that here that's like going here oh that's the time of the six oh. <coughs> Sorry. Um, the thing is, now we could actually type that in again. As opposed to the last. I'm really sorry. Ooh. Uh, and that is okay that way. Um, deactivate the fucking ghost, even though we don't have one right now. And we'll go on to the Birds of Prey track. That's actually the downhill track this time, even though it has implications of a Super G. Um, in 2011, I guess, they switched to the Super G? I don't know. At least in 2012 we had the Super G. 
I don't, don't know about 2011. Wow, I'm actually doing quite well for not having played that since 2010. Yeah, I don't think I'll get actually around this without standing up. Yeah. I'm really out of. I really don't know much about that track anymore. I mean, I did do, of course, my my uh, ad science slaloms here as well. Because why should I not do it on the new track? But I really do not remember this track very well. There we go. 42 seconds faster than the fucking teacher. As you see, Nikon was uh, sponsored that year. Well... For a change, we'll do um, this time uh, Vargardenia in uh, snow. <coughs> well, now it's empty. that anymore and why the hell do I have 38 really that looks off I don't think that that is the ski I used back then more like what was that that but uh yeah that could be it that's a seven that could be it anyway as you see the optics for the snow have improved quite much Yeah, that's it. And actually, you didn't see shit ahead of you. Which is quite realistic, because in real life, if it's snowing that heavy, you don't see shit either. Yeah, the screaming of the guys in the uh, audience is really, really annoying sometimes. Because they always seem the same, they always scream the same stuff and in the same uh, uh, tone and everything. That's really, really shitty. Sometimes. Anyway. <clears throat> Uh, 
this still doesn't feel accurate, but well. And uh, since this is 2010, there's two days. Uh, left now for you uh, until the new ski challenge comes out. Fuck you. Um, on December 4th. Stay tuned for that. You should really play this game. It's awesome. And it's free, so you don't have to pay anything. You can't even pay anything. <laughs> Not even if you wanted to. <laughs> I guess you could donate to Greenview, but come on. Free game, uh, and it's it's uh, usually through those ads that they get their money. So how bad was it actually? Seconds behind my best time and so. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Next track. And unfortunately, uh, as I told you, Kids Brew is not open on this version. Uh, I don't know what happened there. I usually download the uh, full version of the game at the end of each ski challenge. Um, but obviously that one didn't download all tracks. <sighs> We're going for Kitzbühel, uh, Kitzbühel, uh, Bormio this time on ice. Ormeo on ice, that's always something I... Formio isn't one of my, my favorite tracks anyway. That was still possible anyway. I kind of turned too late. You don't see as much of the ice in these versions now than, uh, as you did in the 2006 key challenge. But graphic-wise, this really improved over the time. You now can look far into the distance if you try that right now, and still see uh, textures and and uh, trees over there. You know, uh, that's something. In the first few key challenges, uh, the the terrain around you just appeared out of nowhere when you were driving through, skiing through it. If my, my soundboard actually works in any of these games, I'll just try it if I'm through with that. Yeah, actually, 
see the, the uh, add signs, they're gone on this side. Isn't really awesome, is it? There you go! On that uh, game, it suddenly starts working again. So what I wanted to do on the first one was... Thank you for your irrelevant opinion! I guess that was the first or second video or something. I don't know anymore. But if you watched all of them, you probably get it. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Wangen. On normal conditions now. And we'll actually go a bit off-road in Wangen again. After that, there are just two left. Two ski challenges. We'll go a bit off road, as I said, so we'll need a bit of this. The turning back animation is still. It was really, really good at, in the first view, but... Oops. That wasn't meant to happen. Don't fall through the fucking stones. Go ahead, drive out there, no. That shortcut has been closed ever since. Oh, come on. You know, if the quality of the old videos I did wasn't that shitty, I'd probably do... I wanna go out there. I'd probably do a best of all crashes of all ski challenges for this uh, series too. But, you know, you wouldn't be satisfied with that. Uh, stop! Stop going right into that uh, the snow cannon. Anyway, let's go here. I don't care. Oh, nice! Uh. Dude! Um, where were I? Where was I? Uh, I couldn't, I just couldn't uh, decide if I said where were we or where was I. Uh, so I said where were I. I guess now that jump over there should actually work for once. Come the fuck on! That worked in so many... Hey! Don't go over there. Why? Uh, go, uh, stay on the fucking track. I still don't know where I was. I'm thinking, wait.
Well, I don't know anymore. Probably come up with it in the next video or something. Oh yeah, the, the quality of the Best of All Crushes videos, wasn't it? Yeah, that wouldn't be too good because uh, the old videos really sucked in quality. Since back then I had a shitty computer and full HD videos weren't uh, that much of a thing yet. No one uploaded HD to YouTube, at least not that I knew. I don't know if that was even possible back then. Um, well, anyway, uh, I think I'll see you in the Ski Challenge 2010 tomorrow. Like and favorite if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and until next time, I'm WWE Deadman. Bye!